Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to start a new series of videos intended for helping you guys to identify faults and um, learning to repair your own gear. And if you don't have experience with electronics, the first things you need to know are the basics and those are the components themselves. I will not get into working theories because if you really want to know the um, behinds of all the components and the um, schematics and all of that, you can uh, most definitely find the uh, books about this and uh, just um, self um, teach yourself to understand what's going on in a schematic. But uh, this, let's call it tutorial series. I will uh, try and uh, get through all the components we could find on boards that we need to repair. And I will start this first um, episode with um, resistors, which are one of the most used components in uh, electronic schematics. What a resistor does is essentially resist current flow in a circuit. Their value is measured in ohms and if you have a zero ohm resistor means that it essentially doesn't resist current flow at all, at least in theory, because resistors can have a power rating of how much current you could pass through a resistor. So that means that if you have a zero ohm resistor, it will not restrict current flow at least until it's rated power. After that, it will just uh, break and not conduct anymore at all. And of course, as the value of the resistor increases, the current flow restriction gets higher and higher. Resistors come in uh, a lot of um, building variations and form variations. And here I have three very common resistors. These are through hole and as you can see they have legs which go through a PCB and they connect on the other side of the PCB. Then we have the surface mount versions and these come in a lot of dimensions. As you can see here I have a kind of big one and here I have almost the smallest one you can find. There are some smaller ones than this one. And of course, as the size decreases, the power rating of that uh, resistor gets lower and lower. Usually the color of a resistor, a surface mount resistor, because we will find on our components 99% of the time uh, these types, they are black. If you can see here, this one is a little bit bigger and they have space to write down with uh, white ink the value of this resistor. But because this one is very small, they could not write anything on it. So it's just a black component and the only way of knowing the value is by using a multimeter on the ohms uh, setting and uh, the multimeter will uh, measure the current flow and uh, it will determine the value of the resistor. Okay, now moving on. And I have here three boards. This is an FC, this is a PDB and this is a board camera. And if we look on this one, we can see here a resistor. It's a shunt resistor, that's what they call it. It's a big ass resistor that can handle a lot of amps, but uh, its value is very close to zero. Why is that? Because we need to measure the voltage drop over this resistor. Because when current passes through a conductor, usually there is a voltage drop. And when we want to measure the consumption of a device, we just measure the voltage across that 
conductor, in this case a shunt resistor. And we can also see here one, here one, and so on. I hope you got the idea. They are black. If they are a little bigger, like these ones, you have white writing on them, telling you the value. On this FC, we have the same dimension resistors used with the writings on them. On uh, this camera board, we can see some uh, zero ohms resistors here, here, which are big. And this is a protection uh, method uh, most uh, designers use. Because, as I told you earlier, if resistors pass more current through them than their power rating, they could break and stop connecting. So if um, some device over here gets broken and draws a lot of current, this resistor here acts like a fuse or some kind. If we look closer, we can see the smaller type resistors, one here, one here, and so on. We have here a bunch of other resistors. Resistors are not usually killed in these types of uh, schematics. They usually break when they are used in uh, high current, high voltages uh, applications like power supplies. So, um, I hope this uh, video helped you and um, I will come up with the next one. But until then, just press that subscribe button if you didn't do it by now. And thank you very much again for watching. Bye.